Hey, hey y'all. Uh, 안녕하세요. I've been wanting to make a video about my favorite Mac apps that actually help to improve my product design workflow. And finally, I am here with this video. So Setup actually reached out to me first for like one or two minutes of integration video, but I actually offered them a dedicated video because all the apps I actually have been using, all of them happen to be made from Setup. So disclaimer, I know this video is sponsored by Setup, but there was a no pressure from them to make this kind of video. So it is going to be 100% authentic. All the apps I'm going to present and all the comments I'm going to make, it's all my own opinions. If you are new to my channel. I am a product designer. I work with a lot of colors in images in copy. So I do have other apps installed on my Mac, but in this video, I want to focus on the apps I'm literally using on a daily basis as product designer. Setup is a large growing collection of hundreds of powerful Mac apps. Not only just to give you access to a lot of apps, Setup can be an all-round helper for any inconvenience you're trying to make better. For example, I can easily browse apps by category on the left panel though, but they would find the right app easily for me just by typing what test I would like to resolve. Before Setup, I used to purchase individual license, keep them in my note and install them still separately. But now I can manage it all in one app and I don't have to worry about keeping license or renewal for every single app I use. Setup is actually now offering a seven day free trial today. So you can get access to hundreds of apps that actually make your life easier. Click the link down below to try out Setup. So the first app I'm going to introduce is called CleanShot X. I've been using this app for years now, even before I discovered Setup. This basically allows you to capture images like text screenshots, but also you can do screen recording. So it's super useful as a product designer to communicate with other people. I also love that it keeps screenshots floating at the left bottom of the screen so that I can just drag and drop to slide or send to other people. And I also frequently use this scrolling capture feature to take a screenshot of like some beautiful landing pages like this to save to my inspiration folder. The next one, Tech Sniper. Oh my god, my favorite Tech Sniper! My all-time favorite app out of all. From the bottom of my heart, this is a lifesaver. I was actually introduced to this app by a coworker before, and thank you so much for introducing me to this application. Um, so what Tech Sniper does is to capture text from any graphics or docs or even videos. For example, use case for me is I usually use this when someone is sharing their screens, and if there is like any URL in the shared screen or just anything I need to copy from the screen, something not copyable, I definitely use Text Sniper. It also allows you to copy some copyable text as well. So when you don't want to drag the whole thing to capture the area to copy, it's just super useful. I love this. I think I actually use every single hour at least. So 100% recommend it. Okay, the next one, Mosaic. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but this one helps to resize and organize windows without manually resizing. I used to use an app called Magnet for resizing windows, but I replaced it with Mosaic to manage just everything in one app. I think this is actually better than the one I have previously used. Without this kind of resizing application, I can't imagine how much I would have wasted my time just by resizing and moving windows around the screen. I have my shortcuts for resizing in different views. So yeah, I'm happy to share my setups and shortcuts. Please take a screenshot of this if you're going to have this installed on your Mac.
And the next one is Pixel Snap. Pixel Snap is a screen measurement tool. It measures pixels on screen, distance, and also object as well. So it's a definitely must to app for designers or um, anyone who does design work on Mac. My primary usage for this app is actually just to copy a screenshot when I'm working in Figma. The next one is called Sip. This is a color picking application and I used to use an app called Contrast from App Store, but yes, I also replaced it with Sip from Setup because to manage in all one app. When I used to use Contrast, one downside was I had to copy the hexaco manually to paste in like wherever, but it auto copies the hexaco once you pick a color. It copied to your clipboard so you can just paste to wherever without copying the hexacode from whatever the palette that saves your hexacode history. As a product designer and a video creator, I work with hexacodes all the time. I barely use this app while I'm on Figma because Figma has native picker to pick a color. Uh, but I frequently use this when it comes to uh, video editing because I switch to other software like Premiere Pro, After Effects, uh, back to Figma like on and off. It is very super useful to pick a color also from like a web browser um, to paste in Figma. It is super useful app. The second last app I'm going to present this video is One Switch. So OneSwitch allows us to create a personalized control center. This can be replaced by multiple Mac application, actually. I had used this in the past, but I recently just brought this back to my Mac because there are a lot of cool features for work from home environment. So let me share how useful it's become in my workflow on a daily basis. So do not disturb mode. Um, this is super useful when helping on a video call so you can just immediately block all the messages or notifications you're getting while you're on a call. Um, mute microphone. This is also super useful while being a video call. I know Google or Zoom or Teams, they have own shortcuts to mute yourself, but this is mute your microphone locally. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but people would not know that you are muted. I don't actually use this, but maybe it's useful for those I don't know. So AirPods, this is super useful. This is the primary reason why I keep one switch in my Mac. Um, so I do have a lot of Apple devices around me. Since iOS 15, it kind of annoys me when AirPods is automatically connect to my phone or my iPad when I'm still work on Mac. This is super useful to immediately connect to your Mac from other devices. We have come this far. You might have installed so many apps from Setup. I can already start feeling your frustration about having all the apps living on the menu bar unorganized. I was frustrated by that. So I used to use an app called Vanilla. I was also surprised by Setup that had a very same tool for menu bar organization. So I immediately replaced Vanilla with Bartender. I am happy with the change I made because it actually gives me more flexibility to organize the menu bar. One thing I really like about Bartender is this add space feature so that I can customize spaces between applications. So hope everything we have installed throughout this video has been organized by this Bartender. So, all right. Yeah, that was it. 
all the comments I've made in this video are truly authentic and organic and it was truly based on all my experience. I actually use them on a daily basis so hope I I still don't know how to finish the video. Don't forget to press the like button and subscribe button and hit the notification. Ah, whatever, you don't have to do that, but yeah, see you later. Bye.